Welcome everybody to the greatest game of all time. Is that an overstatement? I'm making this. <laughs> okay, this is Banjo Kazooie. Uh, as far as I know, not a lot of people uh, are familiar with this game, which is very unfortunate because this game is awesome. This game is great. This is probably this game is probably most of my childhood. This is the childhood game I remember the most. It's probably the game I'm the most like thankful and appreciative for, for a lot of reasons. And I'll get into them later, but uh, we're gonna start a new game, and uh, I'll show you guys, whoever's watching, uh, a little bit of Banjo Kazooie. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, whatever. We'll just <laughs> uh, uh, give me one second, and we're back. Okay, so uh, the reason I had to go back is because the opening cutscene didn't play, and I want to make sure everyone has a little bit of context because this game is unusual. That's the way I put it. This game is unusual. So let's make sure everyone has a little little backstory first. This, this is on the N64, so that's why it looks old because it is old. This game came out in 1998, I believe. Uh, and here's our here's our uh, antagonist. Go and tilt the witch. Dang part, nicking part, by the man shoes, an anxious looking wench. Um, not you. I mean, it's grunty any day. She really takes my breath away. Uh, don't kill me, please. Yes, you're right. I'm rather proud. My looks stand me out from the crowd. So she speaks in rhymes. That's her gimmick. She speaks in rhyming. And it's, it's a good gimmick. I like it. Uh, well, there is this girl. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, what do you mean? This can't be. There's no one prettier than me. Oh, uh, yeah, there is. A lot of people, actually. Uh, Donald Trump is actually uh, more attractive than you. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna die today. <laughs> no, no, you must be mad. That's a beauty can't be had. Oh, uh, you, you, yeah, I can, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love it if like he just spoke normally and she spoke in rhyme, but he's supposed to rhyme too. But I would love it if it was just her. He's like, okay, whatever. Well, we'll see about that. Her broomstick. So this Tootie, she's a bear. She's a, a brown bear with pigtails, because reasons. And we live here on Spiral Mountain. And next door to them is this guy. Our best buddy, Bottles. The mole. He can't see very good. Hi there, Tootie! What are you going to do today? When my big lazy brother wakes up, we're going on an adventure. <laughs> I think I nailed that. <laughs> and there's our brother. That's our that's our protagonist. That's our hero, Banjo the Bear. And all he does is sleep, because he's a bear. That's all bears do. Wake up! I want to go on an adventure too! That's Kazooie. That is the, yep, so, title, title of the game, right there. This is the thing, one thing I never got, like, he lives right next door to the villain. So, like, nothing like this has ever happened before. <laughs> that always weirded me out, I don't know. Is that your brother, that thing in the air that I've never seen before? <laughs> Where, Mr. Mole? I can't see him. Up there, in the sky! What are you, retarded? That's not Banjo. <laughs> Uh, I love to imagine that they just never noticed that giant witch-shaped house next door to theirs. Let me go, you ugly old hag. Oh jeez, they're going at it. Don't scratch and bite, my little bear. You'll soon need bigger underwear. <laughs> that me up. Oh no, she's got her! Somebody! Help! I am useless in a fight, clearly! Banjo, wake up! Now! Whatever, I am the least responsible person in the world. What do you want, Kazooie? Let's get outside! There's trouble! Oh, my body! Oh, my fragile bird bones are all broken. All of them. All of them are broken right now. And here we are. This is Banjo. This is Banjo Kazooie. Do you mind? Quiet on the set, please. But yeah, that's why I can run around. Oh, I can't. Oh, okay. So all I, all I can do is run and jump. Go figure. There's Bottles. What's up, bro? Listen up! Hi, Bottles! The short-sighted mole! <laughs> is that every introduction he gives to anybody? Banjo and Kazooie. There they are. Sounds looking buddy, Banjo. Can I talk? 
Better than you can, Goggle Boy. Yep, that's because we to a T. Uh, blah, 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 your sister's gone, you stupid idiot, you didn't save your sister, you suck at everything, and now you gotta go get her back. Where'd she go? To her mountain lair. That giant thing that's right there and we didn't think about when we moved in. <laughs> uh, I did you some basic. Okay, I do not need to, to teach me anything because I am an expert. So we're not, gonna, we're not gonna do this boring tutorial. I know everything about this game, left and right, backwards and forwards, that's a lie, but I am more than capable of doing this on my own. Okay, so this is Banjo Kazooie. Uh, this is Spiral Mountain, the overworld of the game. And there's giant carrot with eyeballs. That is correct. Bam! I killed it with my, with my beak. So yeah, that is a... So, yeah, okay. Sticky, tasty, honey energy. So that's that's, a, that's our that's our life bar, basically. Honey. Uh, so one thing you'll get, you'll have to get used to in this game is the fact that everything has eyeballs. Literally everything has googly eyes on them. It's like they took a bunch of actual carrots and stuck googly eyes on them. Also, cabbage and fly. Or cauliflower, rather. It's cauliflower. Um, okay. I'll just do some exploring real quick. Uh, okay, so you can jump, obviously. You can roll into the enemies. Uh, this mechanic is it's alright, but they really perfected it in the next game, which I actually like more. There's a sequel called Banjo Tooie, which I actually like a lot more than this one, but this is the original, so I'll play the original. Uh, you have this ability. Okay, this is the most important ability in the game. It's the one you probably use the most. Oh, actually, actually, that's a lie. There's other ones, but I want this. That is, that is an empty honeycomb piece. All right. So this will increase your health. Yes. Okay. So this game is what is known as a collectathon, meaning that you have to collect things. That's basically like the point of the game. Uh, and not a lot of people like that, but honestly, I never had a problem with it. I was a kid, so I didn't really like think about it too much, but yeah, basically. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go around real quick and see if I can get all the, uh... There should be six honeycomb pieces here. And these rocks have eyeballs, by the way. It's normal. Okay, this punch move is uh, is useless. 100% useless. It is not useful for anything. Uh, how do I kill these guys? Whoa, oops. <laughs> wow, okay then. I know what to do. Bam, that's what I do. Damn. I rejected his help, and now he's being an asshole to me. He wasn't even aware of that. Okay, so if you if you do the tutorial, you can find uh, six honeycomb pieces. But I am better than that, so I'm just gonna find my own. All right, because that way I get more health. Okay, uh, let's go over here. Ooh, water. Let's swim like bears can do, and birds. Here's what I love. <laughs> she swim. Okay, so you can do a fast swim with Banjo, where he squeezes his little feet. Or you can do a fast swim with Kazooie. Oh, did I say fast before? Yeah, you can do a slow swim with Banjo, and a fast one with Kazooie. And she swims with her wings, which does not make any sense at all. So, uh, there's a thing over here. I'm gonna kill it. Bam, it's dead. I murdered it. Alright, uh, over here. There's one right there. I'm gonna go ahead and get it real quick with the, uh, patented flap flip jump. Bam. Flawless. Okay. Uh, okay, where are the other ones? From this one over here. So currently, so like, like what I said before, um, <laughs> sorry, I, I'm not good at speaking. Uh, I said before that this was the most used ability. That is not true. There was a, another ability you get later on that is way more useful. You something dick to me? <laughs> I think you're doing it. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Now you get a feeling for what this game is like. Uh, there are plenty of fourth wall breaks in this game. I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> no, never. I will never stop. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was funny, actually. So yeah, this game breaks the fourth wall a lot. But never in the sense that you feel like you forget you're playing a game. Like, it still feels like a game experience, even though... There's a ton of fourth wall breaks. Like they, they work. The way they're like factored into the game actually like are, are, they're they work. It never takes it, it never like takes away from the game experience. It still feels like a world that it still feels like a cohesive world, even though they're constantly referring back to the fact that they are in fact in a video game. Okay, uh what do we got over here? Should be there's only one last honeycomb piece somewhere. 
Uh, I'm trying to like think back on all the different moves I have. Because each one is like a reward for completing a move, basically. Um, I did the jumps, I did the swimming, I did the flap flip. Uh, I'm guessing it's in one of these tr There it is! Woo! And there we go. And just like that, we have extra life. Hell yeah. Alright, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go into the lair of the witch. But first we gotta climb this weirdly shaped spiral mountain. And three days later we will finally make it. It's not really much of a mountain, it's more like a hill really if you think about it. But yeah, that is besides the point. And we're up here, and there we are. No <laughs> bottles. Are you talking the witch now? You sure are, show us away, bottle boy. Oh, I wonder which one. <laughs> really, Kazooie? You don't know where it is? There is a giant witch head right there. Good god. Okay. Time to cross the bridge. Oh. So the music just shifted. I don't know if you heard that, but the music just shifted into something else. That's, that's another thing the game does a lot. So now we find out what her dastardly plan is. She got a machine. It's weird though, like, she's a witch, shouldn't she use magic, not machines? Like, I feel like she's, I don't know. She's a, she's a, she's, she's a more progressive witch. Rescue you, you will not dare. There's many dangers in my lair. And there's Klungo, her, her, her Igor, Igor-esque henchman. <laughs> oh, so now she thinks she's, <laughs> that's interesting, like, before she was talking about how beautiful she is, and now she's like, "I'm a witch. I'm a, I'm a disgusting, ugly witch. My, my 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 bubble of safety has been breached. Now I see myself for what I truly am." <laughs> Damn, kind of a statement on life, isn't it? There he is. The fun begins. My tricks and traps will see who wins. Ooh, you sneaky, sneaky bitch! All right, let's do this. All right, this right here. This right here is the entire game. This thing right in front of us is the whole entire game. Hey, it's me! It's you, Jiggy! Now go find the picture with a piece missing! It's as simple as that. The entire point of this game is those things. That is the entirety of the game, and there is no denying it. That is the entire thing. End of story. Jigsaw pieces. That's the game. It is jigsaw pieces of the game. Alright. Uh, excuse me. So, uh, right here we have the first world of the game, Mumbo's Mountain. So, to open the door, we need to find a, 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 a this, a this. We need to find a this, a this is a, 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 a puzzle, a puzzle map that is missing a piece. So, the reason why we need these jigsaw pieces is to fill the pieces that are missing. Uh, we have one, and we need one, so we're going to use it. Bam. Just like that, magic. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just, I'm thinking more about what I said before about how Gruntilda is a witch, and yet she's, like, in both games, in, in all the games, she uses technology, like machines, instead of magic. It's the strangest thing. All right. In we go to Mumbo's Mountain. Now, this level I know backwards and forwards. It's the first level of the game, so obviously it's easy to memorize everything here. Let's take a look at this. This place is quite big. It's not extremely big, but it's big enough. There's a planet. All of it is ripe for exploring. So, let's get right to it. Grublins all must die. All of them. Dead. He's dead. I murdered him. Another one. Punch. Okay, so yeah, that punch move is so useless. It is the wor it is the most useless move in the entire game. In all any of the games. And they know. They got rid of it in the sequel. Okay, so notes. The other thing besides Jiggies that we need desperately. One of a hundred on each world. Collect us to open the note doors. Yes, okay. So you need Jiggies to open the what? Oh, I see. So you need Jiggies to open uh, the new worlds, and you need uh, notes to open the doors in the lair. Also, these guys are the best. These guys are the greatest. I can't get to them right now, but now I can. Yippee! You saved me! Matilda has imprisoned five of us Jinjos on each world! Free us all to get a Jackie! Why is everyone Mickey Mouse in this game? <laughs> okay, um, can I get these? Let's find out. Okay, so in each world, there are a set number of things you need to get. Uh, 
We've just seen several of them. Oh, okay. There was a mumbo token. I didn't, I didn't mention that. Uh, that skull thing I picked up. Uh, that is another item we need to find. It is necessary to complete the game. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, come on, come on. Ah, come on. Is this so slippery? Yeah! I'm the best. Okay. Uh, there's actually a move we're going to get shortly that will allow us to scale this hill. But until then, we got to walk. So let's go this way. Oh, look. Another Jinjo. The Jinjos are probably another one of the most, like, iconic things about these games. The Jinjos are the best, you have to save all of them, and you get... If you save them more, you get a Jiggy, so they are worth your time. Alright, in we go. Down to the water. To get the notes. Okay, this... Okay, the underwater controls are a little weird, but we'll manage. Okay, in we go. See, I'm more used to... I actually played the sequel first, and then this one. So, I do like the sequel more, but both of them hold a special place in my heart. Um, and in the sequel, there's actually a really, really fast swim ability you can get. Um, I'm just used to that. That's basically my bottom line, but this is fine. Though. And look at this bull with his head in the wall. It's going to charge me and murder me. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. No! Ha! Bulls can't do bridges. But I can. Because I'm a bear. I just drill this bull. Bam, he's dead. He's not dead. He is unconscious. You actually can't kill this bull. He's back. Crap. Alright, these things. These things are... <laughs> I'm gonna say that a lot. These things are important. These things are important. The mind that comes along. Yes. This guy just chills here. He just dances until I murder him. And I get all the honey inside of him. That's freaking right. Alright. We're gonna go from here to now. Oh, it's Konga. This Konga tree. Me and Bear with oranges. Take that. Give me that, huh? What do I say about that? Ha! Okay. So, in case it wasn't obvious, you have to get, you have to make him hit these uh, blocks with oranges. Whoop. Whoop. Okay. Whoop. Ah, come on. Come on, Konga. Come on. Whoop. There we go. And I'll, I'll also, we can climb the tree and we can steal an orange. <laughs> I just stole shit out of that orange. Yum! Orange is ice. Yes, they are. Oh, yeah, I got his. Yep, got it. You must search for ten of us in each world. Look, we can progress through the witch's lair. That is correct. And I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get all ten, because I'm the best. But we will take that up. We will take on that task next time. Join us for more bear and bird action. Don't hit the 